Bob, uh, that gravimeter went right to uh, a steady. It blinked once, went right steady, so I don't expect it'll be too long. Okay, I'll give you a call in uh, a couple of minutes, and I'll be done. Yeah, okay, two minutes, what we got. Okay. Flight, we did have a question about... Yeah, I uh, understand you have the uh, RTG fuel. What about the neutron Maybe. probe? Okay. Um, whether it, it's on the side of the Mesa, uh, sun side of the Mesa, we, okay. we're concerned that Jack, it might be in the sun. A, uh, am I missing a map I should have we'll up here? We'll try to here? get the TV uh, over there, so I'll get what you know there. first before we ask the crew. Oh, I put in there so okay. they wouldn't bounce well, off. Did they say anything I'm about sorry, it? I forgot to tell you. Okay, I got them. Hello, Houston. Hello, Challenger. Flight Surgeon. Oh, Go ahead, sir. I can make that landing about six or seven times. Sure I can the, uh, take in all the totals for the overhead. Where oh, are I? Uh, CDR. I might as well state at the case. 1180, LMP 10. 40, expected okay. 50, and we had uh, 93 minutes, ice, 87 minutes. Okay, and and you know, you might wander back. by the gravimeter. I think it might be done by now. You might just take okay, the we're not quite through yet, are we? Uh, steady. We're through with the overhead. Oh, on or not. But we, uh, just gave you okay, the first hour and a half. Right now, Bob. Okay, we're still on the overhead, though, I think. Okay, what was it, what did you have for the LMP? LMP was 1040 flight. Uh, 1040? Okay. We have the next uh, portion scheduled to LSEP, you see, and we'll give you that after that's complete. So the overhead composes startup, egress, and flag deployment only. Oh, okay. For future reference, Bob, the dome removal tool doesn't, it'll turn. Oh, uh, shoot. Okay, Bob. Uh, let's see, it's not lit. Can I take a reading? Sure, I get the lights out. Give us a reading. Well, let's see if I can put your right button this time. Okay, it's 670-017-201. 670-017-201, and it was about 75% uh, in the shade of the rover. Okay, I copy that. And, we and now we're ready it. for bias. Now, you... Okay, a bias coming at you on the ground, correct? That's right. Roger. Roger. It's blinking. It's blinking, Bob. Okay, copy that. I've got the core bag and a neutron hey, gene. I need your hammer. Okay. EVA, I need my help. Okay, come oh, over. Just stand by here. I think the LMP may be having some trouble with it. I understand, core. What's the problem? Well, the dome removal tool never latched into the dome, but it turned it. I think it's it's pretty badly chewed up. I'm not sure what happened. Oh, okay. Let me have your hammer. Because I'm going to have to pry off the dome. Get you, uh... No, I've... I've it, see, I'm, I've stripped it, I think. I didn't think I could do it. No, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let me get it stripped. Now, see, but it's open. Wait a minute, see? No, wait, see? Just put your blade in there. Don't touch it. Put the blade in there. And pry. It'll come. I hope. EVA flight. Be careful. Here, let me get it once from this side. Good point. What do you think of that? Uh, contingency operation would say to use the uh, hammer to try and knock it open if it doesn't come. Okay, well, prying, I guess, is just, just yep, about it. Yeah, that's just good. There okay. you got it. Nice okay. work. It's off. It's, it's loose. Good. Okay. It's off. Nice work. Woo! Uh, Roger, once again, we okay. have the right solution. <laughs> I'm not sure, Bob, what happened. You might ask him that if you only partially get the dome removal tool on Flight if EVA. you can strip the whole thing out. Right. Okay, and the confusion, we might remind Jack to make sure he has that R2G package rotated down before he removes the fuel element. Okay, I'm going to have to get a hammer. Okay, I'm going to have to get a hammer. Okay, I'm going to have to get a hammer. Okay, I'm going to have to get a hammer. Okay, I'm going to have to get a hammer. Okay, I'm going to have to get a hammer. Okay, I
He has forgotten this several times in the past. The RTG package rotated down and prior to pulling the fuel in. Right, you've got to expose the uh, top of the RTG. Did you see how Otherwise, you have to hold the fuel up yeah. with one hand and uh, okay, rotate the package with the other, out. which is undesirable. Wouldn't think of it. Okay, where was I? I got to go back and get the drill, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, sir. And then I'll be caught up with the TGE. Okay, Houston. The RTG is inserted. Okay, the copy element, that. That is. Flight, we got two minutes to go on that bias reading. Okay. Bob, I'll, I'll give you my word. Before we leave here, I'll make sure that the SRC is closed. Okay, copy that. As long as it's got uh, only an inch or two showing there, it should be no problem. That looks fine. Look well, I'm going to put something on it to get it down to that far. Okay. Okay. Oh, that came out like a dream. Man, is this Mesa low when you go... Come on, baby. SEQ bay doors are closed. Uh, copy that. And I'm checking out the cosmic ray. Cosmic Ray looks good. Beautiful. Oh, I snuck a quick quick peek at the drill and it does work. What in the world is that? That's Ron. Ron, that's Ron. Got his VHF on that sink. Hey, I might tell Ron we can hear him. Sure, we get a second bat temp. Okay, we don't the uh, is put together in a right. barbell mode. And Charlie Duke, I have checked it, and it is locked. Hello there, Ron. If you read, we're reading you. so they won't come off, but yeah, when they mod it, it, you can't get them back right off. off. Okay, we'll need to tape it if it's a rear fender. Good. Bob, for future reference, it's a piece of cake putting a TGE on it off. Okay, copy that. Jack, is the tape under my seat? Do you remember? Yes. I may need it. Okay. Let's see my hydroxide canister to middle. I'm in max. Max Trulane. Man, you're wobbling around like a... How are you doing? Oh, fine. It's just a... Flight it's work going out here. Yeah, but it is. Just take it easy. Yeah, I'm going to be a little so bit behind you if I have to easier. work on that fender anyway. Yeah, yeah, you can walk a bit more slowly than you're walking. Okay, there. more and more. What's that? I said you can walk more slowly than you started out anyway. Might try carrying it in the crook of his elbow there, too, uh, Captain. Bob, 
uh, that actually some of these rocks that I uh, believe are the dab roads have a texture not unlike a uh, I tell me correct it looks like a, a well uh, the but I don't think I know they're not but they've got some models characteristic to them I haven't yet figured out what was that telling you phone uh, we think the LMP went to Max on his... Yeah, he diversion. told us that, that was yeah, I thought he called it. Yep, he did. Oh, okay, I did hear it. Okay, and we do want the LRV battery temps here at Capcom before he drives yeah, off. Yeah, I'll get him as soon as Gene gets on. Okay. So we might ask him to tap the meter, too. Well, if it wasn't for that fender, I'd be ready so to might go. tap the meter. Makes me sort of mad. I say that, Jack. That looks like a big rock out okay, there. Okay, if the CDR is delayed, it looks like he's going to be taking the spender on. The LMP has That's it in his checklist to offer the HAD experiment now. for the CDR. So we should be able to pick up a little bit of that time we are using. Yeah, okay. So that's a contingency step in the LMP's Well, checklist. I've done this in training. I get the uh, very adept spenders back on, but I sure don't want to start without it. Experiments flight. Go ahead. You getting a look at uh, where the LMP is going out there? Yeah, we're watching. We were. Now, shoot. You want him to avoid that rock. Okay, Bob. That big boulder. I think I'm going to move a little bit to the northwest of my present position in order to get a little farther away from that big rock. Okay, And Jack. to get out of a shallow uh, depression. Why do you a right out of a shallow depression. Yes, Gene. Roger, possibly down here. I didn't hear this slight. Doing well. Just for two men to do it rather than making a one man task out of it if he's having any trouble. Well, it's shallow okay, it's relative. Good. The other depressions I've been in. Capcom flight. You know, this outset's almost as heavy as what we had at the Cape. Go ahead, flight. Hey, if it's easier work, uh, put that fender back on with two guys, he might think about waiting until he gets out to the outset. Okay. Uh-oh. I lost one of my blocks. Oh, well, I'll, I'll get it on a rock. Or I'll retrace your steps. Don't worry about that. I'll be able to, if there are enough rocks around, I can use it. I uh, copy that, uh, Jack. Day. And uh, Gene, if you're having trouble with that fender and you think it might be easy with two guys, uh, you could wait till you get out to the outset site. No, sir, I got it on, but... Uh, a little piece of the rail is cracked off, and I'm just going to put a couple pieces of good old-fashioned American gray tape on it. See whether we can't make sure it stays, because I don't want to lose it. Okay, EVA, go ahead. Okay, I was going to suggest that Jack pick up that second block. It dropped off the central station. Uh, it's a lot easier to pick it up and just find something to put under it. Kept uh, good old-fashioned He may be tape. going way past it by now, though. Doesn't want to yeah. stick very well. I've not seen any sign of layering in any of the craters. In their walls. Okay, copy that. The rocks still seem to be the pinkish gray, uh, the pinkish gray gap row out here. Right 
Go ahead, Al, Seth. Right, they're going to pick, they're pick up their uh, block on the way out. Right. That's one of the seven degree blocks that goes underneath the central station. Okay, he thought he could get him a, uh, a rock or something to take his place. I think it'll stay for an indefinite period of time right now. Can't the uh, commander pick it up on the way out on the, the rover? Well, he could if he wanted to stop and get off. I don't really think it's worth it, is it? Not bad for TV close. Can you see me, Bob? Uh, we're watching Gene right now. You disappeared out of sight a long while ago, Gina. Hey, you just came into sight again, uh, Jack. Hey, let me enough room to deploy the heat flow. I'm going to. I'm looking for a place away from craters and rocks. That's why I didn't land up there. Flight EVA. Good. Hey, CDR is 20 minutes behind at the station. Right. Okay, I think I got a place. And I think it'll also uh, give you a spot for the neutron flux that's sheltered from the RTG. Okay. You that's say good. you have a place like that, Jack? Well, I, pretty much, I think, Bob. Okay. Let me work on it here a little more. Okay, and right now about you're about 10 minutes behind the yeah. timeline, Jack. Okay, Bob, I'm only going to spend another minute or two on the fender. We'll catch up. I never thought Good. I'd be out here doing this. Time on this right now. Well, I tell you. you yeah, know. you said about one more minute or so. Okay, I'm going to go back this way. Central Station can be near a crater. It'll be pretty good. That'll put the lean right out over there, which is probably all right. The perimeter out over there, which is probably all right. Gonna put your drill holes a little too close to that rock, though. Bob, uh, ask Mark if he's worried about rocks as much as craters. Okay, stand by. Got a rock about two meters in diameter, partially buried. You copy that experiment? I copy, Floyd. That uh, one of the probes may be near. Stand by and define near. Well, it could be with. Ten feet. Flight in, okay. Yeah. Flight out, Seth. Remember back over the fender? Flight out, Seth. Go ahead, out, Yeah, you should stay about three meters from those rocks. Well, with okay. the heat flow. I can move a little more. Three meters. Off, I guess. Okay, and uh, Jack, it seems like about if you're about three meters from the rock, that's no problem. Okay. Okay, this is it. Okay, copy that. I tell you, the block... The, uh... See, the sun's... Turn off, so it's this way. South of east. Okay. Now, shoot. What's wrong? Well, it's just about impossible. Bob, it looks like uh, the probes are going to be in a shallow depression. Any I'll problem, try to prove that a little. Any problem, It's Alpha? not a real crater, it's just a shallow Stand depression. By, Stand by. Stand by on that, Jack, a minute. That may be okay. Shallow depression's all right, Flight. Shallow okay, shallow depression's all right, Jack. Don't worry about it. a meter deep. That's okay, Jack. Okay. Good. Stay there. Alrighty. It looks pretty good to me. Okay, good enough. Uh, just, Bob, it's really in detail. The meter and half meter scale relief is a little more than we can stand here uh, for a good sight. But I think, uh, I think this will be all right. Okay, copy that. We're ready to press on with LSEP Interconnect. And Dina, how you doing on that thunder? 
Bob, I am done. If that fender stays on, I'm going to take a picture of it. Because I'd like some sort of mending award. It's not That'd too neat, but uh, tape and lunar dust just don't hang in there together. Okay, you copy fine. that. Captain, go flight. Can you put the well, water plant back let's up? Let's hope. Keep the your fingers crossed, and yeah. I'll be more careful around the fenders. Okay, copy that. Whoops. Channel 64, five. Yeah, I got it. Bob, I'm going to do one other thing real quick here. i got to dust my uh, visor off. Gee, you, you want me to do that? No, I can do it. I just do it right here. I only have to Those do it in a couple places right in front of me. Those last three data points are fairly heavy met rates, fine. Yeah. Okay. You want to go through to anything else? Uh, well, let's see what else you got. We got the O2. Much good, did it? We Someone should have told me that. Used a bit more uh, on pressurization. That just really screwed it up. The commander. Okay. And, uh, Bob, you might ought to be thinking of a good way to clean that margin when I get in the yeah, cabin. Yeah, a little bit steeper slope. Okay, we'll put someone on that. Okay, okay elevator equipment check. Blankets are open 100%. TV sunshade is on. Step receiver antenna and half cable. We got four, five, six, and seven on the charges. CGE, I got three measurements complete. I got the drill, the bag, and the neutron flux. The TV camera, I'm taking it away from you. Base in 2.78 amps. Okay, Roger. Okay. We're running about 285 to 288. Sorry about that, Ed. But we were before. Okay, both switches going to one. On the vertical valve. Okay, Roger. A little bit less. It's not as hard to get at the covers, one might think. Flight surgeon. Go ahead, sir. Roger, I got some more data if you want to hear it on the BTUs. Okay. Uh, the second, the first through the second hour, or from hour one through two, the commander had 1150 and the LMP 1290. Now the overall average for the first two hours was 1200 on the CDR and 1220 on the LMP. So yeah, we're going to lane connector now, Bob. Okay. okay, I copy that, Zach. Yeah, I copy that, Zach. Understand you. It's hard to hit that garbage pile. Dang it. So Roger, understand you have the heat flow connector connected by now? Do anything else at the heat flow connector connected by now? Yes, sir. Hey, experiments, uh, fine. Go ahead. Have you guys got any explanations about the increase in rover battery temps while we were parked there? Yeah, I'm a little late, Jack, until I get these battery covers open. Uh, I got the heat stayed. flow for it. Okay. Yeah, we're looking at that now. But they both went up. Well, the old lean connector doesn't connect just like usual. Or lock. Okay, I'm not going to touch the battery. You need to uh, make sure he's releasing pressure when he passes the No pressure. Yeah, the batteries themselves are clean. The LR, LCRU has been dusted. Flight experiments. Go. Okay, and that's. So is the TV. Yeah, we know what that there. is. That's probably the, okay, the meter on. catching up with the batteries and temperature. When the when you activate the the meters, there's a it actually will begin to okay, uh, use heat up. Okay, okay sensor We're going to have a double calm the whole outfit time with the TV remote. Say again, Captain. Are we going to have this double calm the whole outfit time with this TV remote? Head cover flight. That's flight. Are we still getting the uh, echo here? Say again. Okay, no, the battery covers the are in the shade. Okay, copy that, Gino. Okay, I hope 
hope that helps. Clear now. Woo! Yeah. I'm going to go to, uh, to Mac for a minute here. Do you buy that? Okay, uh, gotcha. Whatever. It's hot in the valley of Perth. Okay. Okay. Ooh, man. Is that... Yeah. 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 I'm going back to intermediate. Okay, copy that. Okay, Bob, I'm ready to go to work. Good. Okay, I'm going to push the gravimeter. All right, your mark. Okay. You have a mark. Copy it's that. Lincoln, and remember what I said, it's a piece of cake to take on and off. Okay, copy that. Okay, this is uh, north over here, huh? <sighs> okay, off of load heat flow, 10 northwest. You got the connector connected. Carry heat flow 30. Place on ground, experiment up. Okay. I'm gonna do that, Jack. Keep your eye on cables. Oh man, all I could do is go downhill over here. Do you read? Yeah. Okay. I'm just trying to level. Are you going to move that very much? No, I'm just, I'll be working with it to try to level it. It's going to be a major task. Uh, okay, yeah, I think 30 feet on the length of that class. I heard you was having problems. I'll get the six squared away. When Say I again, Al, sir. Okay, boy, uh, I, I was wondering if he had the lane connected yet. Last I heard, he had problems with it. Okay, well, I think if he didn't make it, he'd said something. Okay. the cape. You can feel every one of them. Hey, Bob, has Ron been able to see the lab? I uh, stand by. I'll find out. Light, tell me. Go, tell me. Uh, just for your information, the LMP has been in max for about 24, 25 minutes. Uh -oh. Watch it, Jack. Bye. First cable. First cable hook. Watch the cable. Get it? You all right? Yep. Fly the EVA. Go. Oh, he's still show good. Jack at max cooling at an appropriate time. Capcom might remind him. Okay, the LSG is going out. Okay, copy that. Does if does it's not, uh, we, we sort of suspect that he accidentally left it there. No, I think he deliberately did that. Uh, LMP, I mean, <laughs> tell you. Yes, fine. You call. Bob, uh, uh, I'm not doing yeah, too badly on keeping things clean. The, LMP has but, uh, been the base of the central station and uh, got some stuff on it. Otherwise, it's pretty good. Okay, Jack, we appreciate your efforts and uh, we understand Thanks. you got the lean connected eventually. Yes, and it locked. Just took some diddling. Okay, sun's over there. Capcom flight. Still flight. Oops, I forgot hey, my is boy the LMP, did he just now go to Max Cooling? Not every girl went to Max Cooling. He went to Max recently. Oh, that was. Uh, okay, that was Gene. Came All out. right. Boy, bolts are off. I'm not sure that uh, Jack's still in it. Yeah, we think he, he is. A low, ba yeah, based on the data here. Yeah, looks a little low. You guys can uh, certainly uh, still enter or not. Is it I guess that I think it makes it here. Tell me if touch, touch touch yeah, it doesn't make any difference to you, does it? Whether he's in cool, in max, or intermediate? Uh, no, flying. Flying EVA. 
go. Okay, that LSG needs to be uh, pretty firmly impressed into the lunar soil there, Jack. Ask the question if it might, if it bothered you if it was in the soil. The answer is no. Since it's a sensitive groove imager, we want it pretty firmly in place. Okay. Flight yeah. experiment. Go ahead. Okay, we got those groove readings back at the limb Bob, and a four and a half milligal uh, difference Roger, between uh, taking a read on the rover uh, and the surface and that's uh, our limit to five. But uh, okay. he thinks he saw the previous orbit. Hey, hey, uh, uh, hey Bob. Uh, we're thinking so about, uh, we got two readings the here at the L so the we're thinking about taking one. Right, LSEP, it can be touching the ground. Say again, LSEP. It can be touching the ground. It can be touching well, the ground. Roger, it's very soft and it's going to be hard to level for it. And Roger, Jack, the base can be touching the ground. Okay, it's level. Good, uh, Let me uh, the uh, sun shield is shaded inside. We'll point out if he stays in max for a considerable period of time. Bubble. 